hello. I feel awkward. <laughs> not only have I not videotaped myself, but I also am sitting outside of my friend's apartment right now. <laughs> she hasn't gotten here yet, so I decided, let me play. Oh. <sighs> This is awkward. But the reason I wanted to do this is because I am so, so excited that tomorrow night I will be hosting a meetup on love and the aspect and the beauty and the healing powers that love is capable of bringing. Um, so first, first the question is, and I'm going to ask myself this right now, but um, what is love? And so I, I like to phrase this, love is, and then create. So I'm just going to take a minute to think about what is love. As I'm thinking about this, I was thinking love is, is me, love is surfing, love is the stars, love is the moon. But I'm feeling right now in the moment that love, love is. That there doesn't have to be this attachment to what love is, or love is when two people come together and create romance, or Love is the children that are in my life. For me, right now in this moment, I'm just feeling that love is. And that's awesome. This past weekend, I went to an amazing workshop with Kyle Cease. And, and one thing that we did there was we um, had partners and we would sit there and say to each other, as much as we could think of that was coming to our mind, crazy weird things, <laughs> or awesome things, and then there would be the standstill and then I would keep talking, um, and then my other mind would try to go inside that mind and say, well that's not right, you'd be better and love yourself if you did this. But then what he had us do afterwards, which is this amazing thing that has brought me so much clarity, is to just say, I love that. So what was coming to my mind is like, I'm feeling really frustrated with acupuncture school. I don't know if I'm capable of being an acupuncturist right now. And I love that. And that's okay. And then I just don't even know if I want to be at this workshop right now. I'm feeling kind of hot, I'm feeling frustrated, I don't like the shoes I'm wearing today, and I love that, <laughs> and that's okay, and I love it. And along those lines, love is love, love is. But I know for myself in the past I've gone out and search for it or trying to find a, a partner or someone that would love me or trying to fill that void to bring love to myself or like searching for love. And actually I had this astounding thing happen to me while I was in the hospital. This, about a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor and I was in the hospital and Something came to me where I saw an image of a heart. And I believe, I don't, you know, I don't even remember where it was because I've seen so many since, but, but I believe it was in my food or, or on the, the trash on the floor or something. But um, I saw this heart and this amazing emotion and vibration and chills 
rushed over me of just this realization of love is already here. And I really felt that that's one of the things that really helped me and healed me in the hospital and taught me that love is, that it is here and already within me and with every single thing. So I could go out searching or looking for it wherever I could go and and it's already there. And I know that sounds silly and obvious and even me just saying that right now sounds absurd and silly and but but it is there. And so so once I saw that one heart, I started feeling enthralled and excited. And then hearts started appearing everywhere. I started seeing the sky and the clouds on the ground in the sand, in the trash, in my tea, in the morning, in my food, my dirty clothes, on the walls, on the streets. Everywhere I looked, hearts appeared. So then I started taking pictures of all of them and posting them on Facebook. And then other people started seeing them and they posted them on Facebook. And then the, the love just amassed and unfolded and grew so strong and I just couldn't hold it in any longer, and I told myself, I want to get, I want to make a book of this. I want to make photos, and I want to share this so that other people can feel what I'm feeling from like the intention that I've set in my mind. And maybe theirs won't be love, but it will be something else, or the number eleven, or the, the traffic on the street. And you know, if you feel that traffic, you'll keep feeling more, and then you'll keep feeling more, and it'll get longer, and bigger, and louder, and noisier. But I like to feel the love, because that brings this beauty to my <laughs> to myself. So I started to write this, to create this book, and I started working with this publisher. And then, a couple weeks before the book was getting ready to go through with her, Drew Barrymore, the amazing actress had a book online that or I saw online, Drew Bear's Morse book on love and heart shapes, which was coming out in two weeks at the time. And the first thing that I felt was annoyance, anger. Really, Drew Barrymore, come on. That was going to be a mad book. But then I thought to myself, this book is about love. <laughs> And Drew's, and me creating love has, has allowed this entry to love, this idea of the love of this book, and love is, but the idea of the love of this book coming out there. And maybe Kate Winslet will have one next week, or, or I don't know who else, anyone. I don't know why Kate Winslet came into my love. <laughs> it's silly and random. But, um, it actually started to make me, I stepped away from it instead of thinking of this competitive thing of me having to like not do it anymore or change it and make it different. That dissipated and I got excited and Drew Barrymore, in fact, in the next few weeks will be getting a beautiful email from me Actually, I'll be sending her a book to her house that is mine to share and thanking her for the inspiration and the love that she has brought to me and hoping that we can both unfold and help others bring that awakening that love is. So, the idea of the book came to me actually as I was looking at it I had to go through these MRI slides one day and I was looking at this MRI and suddenly the one, another one popped up on the screen and the tumor actually wasn't even on the MRI. I don't know what kind of MRI it was, a certain type that was measuring something other than the tumor, but what I saw that it was measuring is the cerebellum inside the MRI was shaped like a heart and then around that was a heart and then my entire head was a heart, is a heart. Love is. And that's just so exciting to me.
I don't even know what to say right now. I'm sitting here looking at my book trying to get ideas. But perhaps I don't have to sit here and look for ideas because it's already here. Anyways, I think we have this thing that's like, or I have this thing, or have had this thing, I don't have this thing, but that it is, you know, like, I gotta love myself more, I, I, I need to do this more, I, I, I need to do this more, how do I do that? And then this obstacle arises, of I need to love myself more. But me saying it in that way, and that just goes to show the power of language too, because me saying it in that way is, is putting this obstacle of like, okay, well, what do I have to go do now to love myself more, even more? And um, so what I could do is then train my brain and phrase it differently with my words and just say like, I am love. I love myself immensely. I love everything about myself. I love... I love that I'm speaking amazing words right now. I love that I'm sitting in the hallway outside here. I love me. I am so, and that feels awkward actually for me even to say this right now. Like I love me. Like there's been periods in my life where I'm like, feel like I have to like do for other people and love everybody else first. And I have to, and I feel selfish saying I love me. So, but I love me so much.